everybody who is watching this video. My name is Sir Olegelai Mokota Yailo Singo from the beautiful, fantastic and unique country called the United Republic of Tanzania. I would like to welcome you into our official YouTube channel that's called the On uh, Online Diploma Poly Polytechnic Institute of Tanzania in square bracket Olegelai. Well, <coughs> in this YouTube official YouTube channel that we are solving a particular problems that facing uh, students and even some of the teachers who are in ordinary diploma <coughs> level, okay? So uh, it happens that when I've been pursuing my undergraduate studies and even yourself also, I've been in a, one of the institutions in the Native Republic of Tanzania where that uh, many, uh, it, or it, it enrolled many ordinary diploma students to pursue different courses in science and the engineering, especially that lab science for the biotechnology and some other uh, uh, scientific courses. So when I've been there, that I, I, I realized there is a common problem that facing them, they fail to understand engineering and scientific and mathematics. And you know that uh, they have to learn uh, mathematics, engineering, also, and scientific mathematics for all the six semesters. Because usually the owner diploma is, uh, is taken for, for engineering and scientific courses is just for three years. So many students, they, use, uh, they used to suffer, even now they are still suffering, and even in the near future they will be suffering because of different reasons that encounter them to let them fail and even more, many of the students they used to have supplementary exams in mathematics okay whether uh, some things you find that the majority of the students they used to have are supplementary exams in semester one and semester two so so the great problem is there are many causes of this problem but one of them is the mode of teaching and how the students have been encouraged that this knowledge that you are learning right now, you need in your uh, core modules, okay? So there are many problems that I don't have enough time to mention all of them, but I've just touched one of them. On my side, I have decided uh, to share or to, to use different techniques, different tips, different teaching aids on teaching uh, ordinary diploma students worldwide but specifically all with a, uh, with a focus, with the main focus to Tanzania uh, diploma students who are pursuing engineering and scientific courses, right? So I uh, will be trying my level best to solve. I don't know everything about it, basically engineering and scientific mathematics for diploma students, but I just know the small portions and I'm ready to share and I'm ready to simplify, I'm ready to take complex uh, issues and make them simple. You know, uh, it happens that according to my research that engineering and both engineering and, and, and scientific mathematics for diplomas is not complex. So we, you can learn it yourself and even you can master, you can enjoy it and you can make it simple as well as you can. So join me in this program and I would like just to ask you to do some few uh, 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 some few issues for you to get connected. We'll be uploading many videos on this our official YouTube channel. So make sure that you subscribe onto our YouTube channel that below here. Press that button. So you sign in with your email because without an email you cannot to subscribe. So subscribe in order for the YouTube community to give you information once we upload a new video. Again, another thing is, please share these contents with some other students who are in this level because the materials will be uploaded here. We'll be focusing and training the students for the benefit of just for the focus of diploma or ordinary diploma in any engineering course or scientific course, telecommunication, mechanical, lab science, uh, biotechnology, uh, food science. See, so all of those courses that they need mathematics in order to understand different concepts. So make sure that you share, that's number two. Number three, uh, number three, uh, make sure also that you read the descriptions of each video 
And then number four, uh, which I insist you that my classes will be incomplete without uh, questions from our students. So you are the students who is online students. This is the serious programs and serious channel. You can use the comment section to ask your questions and even to read answers from other as a students and even also to establish the online group discussions so you can use the comment sections i'll try my level best to answer those questions okay as well as i can again uh this is a serious program make sure that you are serious and make sure that you have all the resources reference books reference materials that required for you to learn this course right so we are in departments of engineering and scientific mathematics the modules of the course is called trigonometric and vector as i told you that uh, these modules might be called trigonometric vector and complex number so don't worry about the name okay the main focus is focus because uh, different institutions or different colleges or different universities they have different uh, curriculum so don't worry about that just look the contents and because, for example, in the United Republic of Tanzania, that all the uh, many of diploma programs for different institutions are under the institutions we call it or under the authority we call it NAT, right? So uh, the topic of today, we are I'm going to teach you the second chapter that's called the vector, and then we'll start with quick review. And then the year of study for these programs is first year must. Uh, it happens that in many institutions, for example, the rest of the Minister of Technology, they used to learn, to learn this course in second semester of their first year. Okay, this is lecture three. If this is your first video that you're watching right now, make sure that you go through lecture one, lecture two, lecture one A and B, lecture two A and B in this channel before you come on to this said lecture, which I'm going to teach about laws of 40 of vectors. So I believe that you have too much information but again in case that you feel from your heart that you want to offer god your free willing thanksgiving offering in order to in order to participate or in order to contribute uh on on what you on uh running cost for this program so you can use this uh telephone number that zero seven five nine seven four five three three one in order to make, to send your thanksgiving offering and your thanksgiving offering will be received with uh, with thanks and even will be used effectively in order to spread the knowledge of of uh, of India's basic engineering mathematics basic engineering and scientific mathematics worldwide so you're welcome you're well invited to offer your thanksgiving offering so don't just take yourself but in case you want to do mobile transactions go to the uh uh, descriptions read the descriptions of each video then we'll see the account number and even the bank name so now i believe that you are in right position so we can start our session so let us start with quick review of lecture two in lecture two basically i told you about terminologies first of all i told you about representation okay representation presentation of 40 presentation of a vector it was it it, it was a kind of long long lecture right presentation of vector first of all we say that we have dimension i talked about two dimension dimension of a vector right of a vector and then i told you that we have two dimension we have two dimensional vector and also we have three dimensional vector and a duty for you i guess we say that we can present this geometrically okay we can have geometrical geometrically we can present them symmetrically and also you can present them uh, in form of 40. So geometrically, you can present them also in form of points or in form of, yes, we call it just points, geometrically, and in forms of points. So that is, so you have two ways of presenting a vector by using the, yes, directional vector, that I, J, K. Okay, again, I told you that some of the terminologies, but well, I told you about position of vector, uh, I told you about what the meanings of displacement, this is number seven, what the meanings of magnitude of vector, what the meanings of echo vector, what the meanings of uh, opposite vector, opposite vectors, okay, opposite vectors, what the meanings of parallel vectors, right, parallel vectors, parallel vectors, and what the meanings of, yeah, so, uh, position, uh, position displacement, as I say, parallel vector, magnitude, unity vector. 
Okay, so we learned a lot. So make sure that you go through them and then we uh, will go through them so you can join me in continuations of this lecture. So today I would like to start where we ended in the like, second session or in lecture two where I, I just wrote a question, I didn't solve it and then we'll go further to the state. But I just wrote example four Actually, it was the homework, but you can even still try that. You can pause the video and try yourself before you do the correction. So this is kind of the quiz, but it was the homework for the lecture two. So find the magnitude. So the question states that find the magnitude. Find the magnitude and unity vector. Find the magnitude. And unity vector. Find the magnitude and unity vector uh, uh, of a vector. A vector two i minus three j plus k. So this was the question that I left it for you. So you can pause the video, you can try your level best, and then you can come for the correction. So let us just redeem the time, because today I want to teach you the eight terminology, and then we got the laws of vectors, which are very interesting part, because we'll be just speaking dramatically. Find the magnitude and unity vector of the vector, this one. So first of all, uh, we can name this vector that suppose that uh, we can let that vector a is equal to 2i minus 3j and then plus k, right? So this is two three-dimensional vector. It has three vector, uh, uh, directional vectors, i, j, and k, right? So if that the case, we need to find the magnitude. So find the magnitude, first of all, magnitude of vector a. We say that this is the square root. For this case, it is x components plus y components square plus z components square. So if this is the case, so you have what is so 2 square plus negative 3 square, then plus 1 square. Great. So then we say that the magnitude of vector a, this is equal to the square root. 2 square, it is 4, plus 3 square, it is 9, then so 1 square, it is 1. So the response is equal to what? is equal to 14, so square root of 40 or 14, that's the magnitude. So therefore, we say that the magnitude, magnitude of a vector, of a given vector, is what is square root of 40 of 14, okay? So to find a unity vector also, we say that the second step, second step is, we say, but we call what I told you, that he called the unity vector, the formula for the unity vector, unity vector of maybe of vector u. So that's this one. This is given as a vector u of a magnitude of vector u. So for this case, so this is the symbol for the unity vector. We have let our vector to be a, so the unity vector vector a is equal to vector a itself of a magnitude of vector a. So what is vector A? So what are the components of vector A? 2i minus 3j plus k. And then divided by magnitude of vector A, which is square root of 40 or 14. So therefore, we say that the unity vector, the unity vector of 40, of vector 2i minus 3k, no, minus 3j plus k. This is given as what? 1 over square root of 14, right? 1 over square root of 14, and then we have 2i minus 3j, then plus k. So you can have the wave lines. So this is a response of the question. <coughs> okay, so that is uh, how we deal with magnitude of a vector and unity vector. So in case that you want to learn with too much details, make sure that you got the lecture two, when I taught this, uh, these two concepts in detail, right? So that is uh, the seventh terminology. The eighth terminology before 
I teach about the laws of vectors, the extremest equality direction direction of a vector. Say direction of a vector. Okay, direction of a vector. Direction of vector, right? So direction of a vector is very important uh, uh, terminology because we have two dimensional vector and the three dimensional vector. So we say that in uh, a direction, we say a vector is has both magnitude and dot and direction. So we say that direction of of a vector, direction of a vector is given by the angle, say angle, angle of a vector. So we have two dimensional vector and we have three dimensional vector. So then uh, to determine or to determine the angle, mind the angle or the directions of two dimensional vector is very simple because we just need to use the trigonometrical to apply the concept of trigonometric in vector concept but for three dimensional it's a little bit challenging we have a concept equality directional vectors which is beyond of this level of ordinary diploma or basic mathematics diploma but i used to teach the concepts of directional vector in a level so in case that you want to learn how to find directions of the dimensional vector make sure that you go to our official youtube channel that called tanzania online uh, a level secondary schools in square bracket or july m so then you learn how to find the direction of vectors three dimensional because it's beyond of the curriculums of this level at this level however that's not difficult it's simple you can know as a mathematician Okay, so we say that if example that we say that consider consider a vector a okay consider vector a which is given as what as x i plus what let's say plus y j okay so we have a plane like this one consider that we have a positional vector right. So that the position of vector, this is origin for, for instance, suppose that this is x and suppose that this is y, okay? So it means that we have a point where these horizontal lines and vertical lines meet, so this is the point. So here we have a position of vector and this is origin and this is suppose that it's a certain point, that let's say point A, right? So so here we have vector or A, and here we have an angle with what made between the vector or A, position of vector or A, and what and X axis. So this angle is very important. So now if we just prolong, so we have dotted lines like this. So we say that this vertical components will present Y, and this horizontal components will present X, right? So this is the dotted lines and this is the x. Let's say that this is x1 and this is y1. So this is y1, this is x1. Right? So fine. So in case of vector, so we say that this is y1, the magnitude from this point to this point is y1, and the magnitude from origin to this point is x1. Right? Great? So this is the angle that you want to find. So if that the case that we say from uh, trigonometrical concepts, we say that tangent, tangent of angle theta, this is given by the opposite of the angle, right? Of what the adjacent side. Opposite side of the triangle, right angle triangle, because this is right angle triangle, opposite of the right angle triangle, so all A, B, right? So opposite side of right angle triangle of adjacent side of right angle triangle. So for this case now we say that tangent of angle theta for this case is equal to y1 over x1, right? So good. So we say that this is tangent 
theta is equal to y1 over x1. So n cos theta, this is equal to arc or tan inverse. If you divide by tan both sides, y1 over x1. So we say that generally, generally, the angle, the angle, so generally the angle of two-dimensional vector, two-dimensional vector is given as this. But this is direction, <coughs> which you call the angle, so direction, this is given by arc tan, <coughs> or tan inverse of y component over x component. So this is very important formula for the lovers of mathematics. Like that. Or in some of the books, so sometimes we say that this is arc of tan theta, for tan what? Tangent of y components of an x component. So also this is direction of the vector. Okay, so this is simple. So for example that we can have example five. Right, example five. So example five, we can say that find uh, a direction Find the direction of two vectors. So you can find the directions of one vector, and then you can give it home. You have to be careful about the issue of quantum. Okay, so example five, we say that find the direction find the direction <coughs> of a vector b is equal to negative two i plus to J. Then we have from B, we have vector A. This is equal to 6i plus 4j. So this I will leave it here at the homework for you. You can do for the first part that from an A. So solution. So we say that the question find the directions of vector b. So we say that the first step, the first step we say that compare, or we say that he has compare vector b with the general vector. So it is this one to j, right? So it means that if we compare with a general vector, this is x e i plus y j or this is negative x i so it means that he, uh, the x component for this case is negative 2 and the y component is positive 2 so we go for the second step to find the direction uh, we just deal with an angle so to find direction we say that theta this is equal to tan inverse of what y over x so we say that theta for this case is tan inverse of y. What is y? Y it is 2. What is x? It is negative 2. So simply this is equal to tan inverse of what? 2 over 2 it is negative 1. Right? So negative 1. So if you find the angle by using your scientific calculator, the tan inverse of negative 1 it is negative 45 degree. But remember that in mathematics and even in engineering or in science, we are interested in, with, uh, we are interested on rotating uh, the geometry or the x-ray plane in, in anti-clockwise direction, so in positive direction. So it means, for example, if you sketch that, we sketch this vector, that that will be the, the 3D. Okay. We can just say that 
it's not uh, uh, meaningful to leave the angle in negative degree. So the steady state, for example, we say that sketch, okay, sketch vector b, right? Sketch vector b. This happens in case that you have negative x components or negative y components. So sketch vector b. So if you sketch the vector b, right, roughly, right, so this is y component, y axis, and this is x axis. So this is origin, right? So we have, this is 2, right? Uh, that is 2 positive, and this is negative 2. And then here you have positive 2. So it means that the, our vector will be from, will be a positional vector from all. So this is our positional vector. And this is positional vector. So here we have negative 2, comma 2, and this is positional vector B, right? So listen, so the angle, actual, that the actual angle, if we rotate, because this is 0 degree in trigonometrical, this is 90 degree, this is 180 degree, and this is 270 degree, and this is 360 degree, right? So, actual, if you rotate in anti-clockwise direction, so let me just ask uh, this angle properly. If you rotate this angle, rotate, if you we we check the angle that made by vector B, then we find that we find that the angle of negative 45 is the true angle, but right? So where do we find this negative 45? So negative 45 degree in mathematics, we mean that we rotate the angle in an in a clockwise direction. Because the actual angle for this one is this one. This is the actual angle. This is angle theta. This is that the angle made by vector B uh, with respect to x axis, right? So it's from this point up this point. But now, so this is in case we rotate anti-clockwise. So remember that this is anti-clockwise. Just to remind you, anti-clockwise. And vice versa of it, it is clockwise. So where do we get 45? 45, it has been obtained as the rotation from what? The rotation from 180 degree in clockwise direction. So this is what we call the negative 45 degree, right? But negative 45 degree, uh, it has been rotated from 180 degree to this point, while the actual angle should be rotated from here to here. So what do we do, we do in Chigi? Uh, because that is kinds of uh, a straight line and the total angle for the straight line according to what we have told you in form 1 is 180 so basically we can say that the direction or the actual angle now so the angle theta for that case to be 180 plus let's say theta let's say this is theta 1 so yes, so suppose that this is theta 2 or theta 1 is equal to that one. So this is not a general solution, so don't confuse these concepts of general solution. So in this case, what is theta? So theta is negative 45 degrees. So it means that theta 1, this is equal to 135 degrees. Also, or in 3D also, we can say that you can find theta 1 by taking 360 and then we plus with angle that we formed, which is negative, right? So what does it mean? It means that the another corresponding angle, we can say that we can find that, suppose that this is the image of this line, right? So this is the image of this line. So it means that we say that suppose that also we can obtain this angle of negative 45 if you rotate, because that is tan. So tan is negative in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. 
So even this one is negative 45 degree, right? So it means that theta 1 also, this is equal to 360 plus negative 45, and the response is equal to 315 degree. So therefore, we say that the direction, direction of what? Of vector B is what? Is either 135 degree or 315 degree. So that's the response. And then we are done. So you see, it's simple to find directions of what? Of two dimensional. So I, as I told you that directions of the three dimensions is beyond of this syllabus of basic uh, engineering and scientific. But in case that you're interested in, you can go to A level or to the to the course, to another pro, to another course that we call it advanced in pure mathematics. Okay, for form 6 here, which is the second chapter that we call the vector, and I used to teach how to find directional vector of three dimensional. Okay, in case that you have any questions concerning about terminologies, right, or vector, because vector is beautiful, fundamental topic for all the courses of science and engineering. So don't hesitate yourself to ask in the comment section. I'll tell my level best to answer your questions, and I'll be happy, right? So if that's the case now, I think that you are ready. Let, let me take you to the next step of laws of vectors. How do we add vectors geometrically? How do we add a vector and another vector, how do we subtract them, right? So how do we to, how do we combine more than one vectors, right? Because we need them sometimes in case of survey, or in case of uh, flight, maybe you want to fly, maybe an aircraft is flighting from uh, Kia, Kilimanjaro International Airport, maybe to Amsterdam, right? And then after Amsterdam, then it will go to the New York. So there we have to draw a trajectory. So that is a vector, a vectorious. And sometimes that we need to know the hypotenuse, or so the shortest distance, the longest distance, and the shortest distance. So it's very important for you to budget it. Okay? So now we go for the laws of who? Laws. So say laws of 14 of vectors. There are some laws, especially three laws, that govern the operations, the basic operations of vectors, geometrical, especially geometrical, right? Geometrically. Okay? So laws of vectors. So we have three laws. So we say that there are three. There are three basically laws of 40 of vectors. Of vectors. Okay? These are these are the first one, we call it the triangle law, say triangle law, and the second one is called parallelogram law, parallelogram law, right? And the third one we call it the polygon law, say polygons, polygon law. So let us learn each of them now, and then we see that how we apply it. So let us start with triangle law. So say triangle law. So triangle law is similar to the law that we learn in physics when we learn about scalar and the vector quantities. So the fundamental question we say that uh, let us state we are the scientific and engineering students. Let us state the triangle law. How do we state it? Right? It's not commonly asked in exams, but you know, it's better if you know something, okay? okay. How, how do we think about it? So you say, if a body, so this, read carefully this law, and so we present it geometrically, is acted upon by two vectors. If a body is acted upon by two vectors, Right by two vectors, represented by two sides. Represented by two sides. Represented by two sides of a triangle. Of a triangle. Of a triangle. 
taken in order in order if a triangle taken in order in order the resultant factor taken in order and you say the resultant vector say resultant vector so the resultant vector this is taken 